Scenario 16. Quality of Life. Real Scene 1. Life's Mission. The most beautiful and most profound emotion we can experience is the sensation of the mystical. It is the sower of all true science. He to whom this emotion is a stranger and who can no longer stand wrapped in awe by it is as good as dead. Albert Einstein My goal After I complete scenario 16, I'll be able to use pronouns as objects of sentences and I'll understand how modal verbs are used with main verbs to express probability. The reading material will inspire me to contemplate one of the things all men have in common, the inevitability of death. Introductory questions. Number one, have you found your mission in life? Number two, what is the definition of death? Number three, what do you think happens after someone dies? Stairway to Heaven When we see ourselves in the mirror, we see something no other animal sees. With our profound self-awareness and wide-ranging imagination, we can envision things that used to be, things that will be, and even things that can never be. We are able to see ourselves as we once were, as infants and children and we will be in many years. We have the dubious distinction of being the only animal that can see its own death coming. We see ourselves as we want to be, as we fear we are, and even occasionally as we really are. Grammar Structure 1 Object Pronouns Object pronouns serve as the object of the verb and are placed after the verb in the sentence. John kicked the ball to me. John wants to talk to you. Mary doesn't like him. John kissed her. The politician lied to us. Many didn't invite them. Me. You. Him, her, it, us, them. Writing. Complete the conversation. Can I talk to Miss Evans, please? She isn't here now. Can I give a message? Yes. This is Susan. Please ask to call... At home tonight? Can you give your number, please? Okay. It's 356-2279. Hello. This is Bob and Sue. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Bob. You left your books here. We can bring to this afternoon. Just give a call. Is there anything else? Human beings, for better or worse, from before recorded history to this very day, have universally contemplated the idea that there is something more, something beyond the simple flesh and blood of the human body. It has been called many things, God, soul, spirit, the divine, consciousness, the one, but the hope is that there is an aspect to the human being that survives even once the body has ceased to exist. Perhaps it's our godlike perspective on our own life that makes us think we have something godlike inside ourselves, something that sets us aside from other creatures and the world around us. 
Perhaps it is a product of the nature-nurture interaction of the brain and the environment. Perhaps it is supernatural, a tiny beacon from a different world altogether. Will the human animal prove to be nothing more than the sum of its biological parts? Or is there an extra ingredient, mind, soul, spirit, imagination, that makes us different from other animals? Is it just the conceit of our overdeveloped brain, or are we truly touched with immortality? Grammar Structure 2 Model Verbs Might and Will Model verbs are extra verbs that are used before the main verb and give more information about the main verb. They are used to express ideas such as possibility, intention, obligation, and necessity. Might is most commonly used to express 50% possibility or to make an assumption. Affirmative, e.g., she might be on the bus. I think her car is having problems. She might be angry. Negative. E.g. She might not be on the bus. She might be walking home. Will is used with promise or voluntary actions that will take place in the future. Affirmative. E.g. Fred will be there by 8 p.m. Negative. E.g., Fred will not be there. He has a previous obligation. Writing. Exercise 2. Using might and will, try to describe death. What do you think is going to happen? Where would you go? Vocabulary. Birth, marriage and death. Put the following words and phrases into the categories in the chart. Funeral Baby Wreath Pregnancy Burial Gifts Widow Crib Mourners Diaper US Nappy UK Coffin, birth, death. Writing, exercise three. Write a short story about the main events of a famous person in your country. Use as many words from the vocabulary as you can. Example, Simon Bolivar was born on a cold winter night. He died at the age of 35, surrounded by friends, at the Quinta de San Pedro Alejandrino in Santa Marta. Funeral Blues Stop all the clocks, cut off the telephone. Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. Silence the pianos and with muffled drum. Bring out the coffin, let the mourners come. Let airplanes circle moaning overhead. Scribbling on the sky the message, he is dead. Put crepe bows round the white necks of the public doves. Let the traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves. He was my north, my south, my east and west, my working week and my Sunday rest, my noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever. I was wrong. The stars are not wanted now. Put out every one. Pack up the moon and dismantle the sun. Pour away the ocean and sweep up the wood. For nothing now can ever come to any good. W. H. Alden, 1907-1973 Question Questions for discussion What happened? How does the author feel? What is the poem about? What message is the writer trying to express? What do you think about death? Research Spot 
Look for more information about number one, life after death beliefs in different cultures. Thank you.